guys, Luan Jen here from JennyAndTeddy.com. Welcome back to another fun and quick tutorial. This one we are going to make the sassy crochet peplum tank top. Um, you can make them in any size. They are made by measuring. Um, during you watching the video, I would love you guys to get a free writing pattern on my blog with a step-by-step -step photo tutorial. I will put a link in the description below. You can also follow me on the Instagram to see the new pattern update. So the basic construction, we just made a long rectangle that can wrap around your bust side perfectly and then join them at the end. And after this, we will add the, the bottom part, which is the baby doll style. And you can customize the length to be the crop or the full size length. And then we will um, uh, add the tie strap. It's just simple chain away from the top. And that's all we done. I hope you go like the tutorial and let's get started. So what you will need is a crochet hook size, um, four millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle, stitch marker, a pair of scissors, measuring tape, and the yarn that I use is a uh, from Hobby. It's called Rainbow. It's a hundred percent cotton. And for in this example size, it's fit size. Um, my bust size thirty two inch. It probably size small and I'm using this one about six of them it's about um, each one is a hundred percent cotton 50 gram and 75 mil uh, 75 mat and uh, or 82 yard so I use six of them it's about it's about uh, 500 yards for um, for bus size um, 32 inch. It's probably fit size small. So if you have the same size like me, you probably use about uh, six of them. If you are a bigger size or smaller size, um, if you like um bigger size, maybe size medium or large, maybe you probably use about eight or ten of them. So just estimate. So the yarn weight is a uh, um, three line or the DK weight. So you can use any kind of fiber for this one. Just use DK weight. So if you use a uh, cotton blend, bamboo or polyester or acrylic yarn, that would be fine for this pattern. So let's get started. So let's go to overview of the top construction. So the top, the top, we can make them in any size by measuring your bust size. Uh, I draw the picture, my bust, for example, and then we will measure from here. For example, my bust size is thirty-two inch. Then we will make the long rectangle long rectangle just one piece that can wrap around my bus side that is 32 inch maybe we um, make it uh, the rectangle maybe shorter because uh, the the stitch we will make a half double crochet stitch all the way the stitch will make them uh, more stretchy so maybe you will make less less than 32 in just make the enough of the rectangle that can wrap around your bust size and then we will um add the i mean uh, the bottom part is look like a skirt here the bottom part of the top and then we will add a strap that's all we need So 
so we will um, start with a slip knot in this example it fits my bust size 32 inch and we will start the foundation chain the same as any size the foundation chain is just the the Y of your bust I mean the Y that will cover your 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 breast I think and uh, if you have like a bigger breast maybe you add more chain to the foundation chain so I start with a slip knot in this example fit my bust size 32 inch or probably size um, small size um, slip knot and then we will chain 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 I will go off the camera and meet you at 20 chain Um, now I have 20 chain already. I will measure up my foundation chain. My foundation chain would be about 5 inch. This will be like this, our rectangle. So the 20 chain, 20 foundation chain will be cover your bust. Yeah, one rectangle. If you want it to be more coverage, you can add more chain like 25 something like that I think the 20 chain will be enough for, for all size because just cover the bus the bus part the top the top part so all side we make the same for 20 chain and then on uh, row 1 sorry on row one, we will do um, half double crochet stitch in each chain across. One half double crochet, one half double crochet. And um, don't forget to put your stitch marker in on the first stitch that you just made. So you will have a stretch it every time. I mean, you will have a neat adding every time so keep going making half double crochet in each chain across until the end of the row at the end chain one and turn I will meet you at the end of the row here And now at the end of the row, at the end of row one, then we just make half double crochet in each chain across. At the end, chain one, and turn your work. And now on um, row two, row two we will just do a one half double crochet in the back loop only. So just keep making one half double crochet in back loop only to create a beautiful ripping effect. Keep going, make one half double crochet in back loop until the end of the row. At the end, chain one and turn, and we will keep repeating um, row two by making one half double crochet in each um, stitch across until the end of the row row after row until you have the length enough that will um, wrap around your bust side perfectly okay and i will meet you there so um here we are my rectangle that will be wrapped around my bust size and 
I I I I didn't make it um perfect fit because I want to have a gap to do the last up in the back. So you could do the same or if you want to wrap up perfectly you don't need to do that. And then after this we view the and uh, the bottom part of the top together. And now we will join the piece together by, I mean, join only the, the adding section. I mean, the adding here. Join them. And make one single crochet around the eight for one round. Chain and then join them. Join with the other piece. Just make single crochet. Yeah, you can see how I join. This one no joining, just on the bottom part. And then keep continue making single crochet in each stitch or in each space. This one you don't need to count the stitch. I mean, I am a very lazy. I don't like to count the stitch at all. So I just put the stitch marker on the first stitch that I just made so I know where to start and finish. So just keep making single crochet around the edge just for uh, one round. No stitch count. But if you want to count a stitch, that will be fine. It's totally flexible. So keep going, making a single crochet around here, just for one round. And I will meet you here. Single crochet. I'm now at the end of uh, row one. That we did a single crochet around the the edge just for one row. After this, we will do the half double crochet in back loop for two row. So, uh, first, first row we did single crochet and then went on the uh, um, row 2 and row 3, we do half double crochet in back loop. Um, row, row, row 2, we keep continue in spiral, we not join the row. So, Row 2 and row 3, we do a uh, half double crochet in back loop. One half double crochet in back loop only for two rounds. To create a uh, ripping, it's making uh, one half double crochet in back loop. For two rounds. So I will meet you at the end of round three. So round two and round three just making one half double crochet in back loop. I will meet you at the end of round three. Now I am at the end of uh, 
row three, I mean um, row three, row two and row three, then we just do half double crochet in back loop only. And row four, on row four we will do um, we will do single crochet, um, two single crochet in each stitch across. Two single crochet in each stitch across because we will start to do the ruffle, little bit of ruffle. Just making two single crochet in each stitch across around until the end of the round. Do single crochet in each stitch across until the end of the round here. See here? Making two single crochet in each stitch around I mean with you at the end of the round. So round four just do two single crochet in each stitch around. Yeah, I will meet you here. Now I am at the end of row four. Then we did um, two single crochet in each stitch around on row five and more from row five on and more until like you have enough length to cover your belly button. Row 5, on the first stitch, we will do single crochet. On the next stitch, do double. And keep repeating this by first stitch, single crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. Keep out in it. Single, double, single, double. So single double, first stitch, single, single crochet, on the next stitch, double crochet. Keep alternating this by first stitch, single crochet, next stitch, double crochet. At the end, we not join the row, just keep continuing spiral, single, double, single, double. Until you have enough length to cover your belly button. And I will meet you there. I just repeating this row, row 5, single, double, first stitch, single crochet, six, the next stitch, double crochet. All over, row and row, and row and row. Until you have uh, enough length to just uh, cover your belly button. And on the Last two row, we will do a little bit of a simple layer to spice, spice it up a little bit. So just keep doing this single, double, single, double, single, double in each stitch around. I mean, in the first stitch, single, and on the next stitch, double crochet. Keep out in it until you have enough length, and I will meet you there. Um, <clears throat> now I finished uh, do the repeat row, re repeat round, uh, single, double, single, double. And then I have uh, about, the length is about 5 inch. You can make more if you like, if you want it longer. But this one is probably like, <clears throat> I try it on and then it's the... Uh, uh, cover my belly button a little bit and then on the last two round We go in to make the simple last but you can do uh, The last you can do what just one round or two round anything you like maybe I just do for um, One round to see if it look good if it um, long enough or Maybe I will do two rounds of the um, simple last or one round. I'm not sure yet because actually I have to tell you I just make this top 
as long as I go, I mean like I'm making a long with a video tutorial. So I, I, I think I probably do for one round for the simple last this, but you can do two rounds. I will show you how to do the second round. I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I am going to do two or one round. So at, at the end of the round, then we just do a um, single crochet in the first stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and then we will keep continue um, crocheting. We not join the round. And then on the next stitch, we do double crochet. We do two double crochet and then chain two or in the same stitch and two double crochet. So basically we do um, two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. Then skip two stitch, one, two and make the same. Two double crochet. Chain two and um, two double crochet in the same stitch. So we will repeating this by. Uh, we will repeat it by um, skip two stitch one two and then make two double crochet two double crochet chain two and two double crochet all in the same stitch and keep repeating this until the end of the row i will meet you at the end of the row basically we we'll just skip two stitch one two and on the next stitch we do two double chain two and two double until the end of the row at the end we not join the row I will meet you at the end of the round and then we will do a round two together. So now I am at the end of the simple last round. We will not join the round and we will continue to do uh, the second round. The second round is just simple. By remaking, you, you see the chain 2 space from the previous row here. Then we will make the same two, 2 double crochet. Chain 2 and 2 double crochet. All in the same chain space. Just here. And Keep going, doing, uh, making a uh, two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet, all in the chain space from the previous round. If you want to do the second round, I think I probably um stop at uh, one round, and then we will after this we will do the add the uh, strap together. Now we are going to add the strap. The strap just simple. You see the position. Um, you uh, measure the the space between your nipple, and then you will see uh, maybe about eight in or ten in something like that, and then you put a stitch marker in, and then join a new yarn. I just make it quickly to show you. Join a new yarn and then make a chain, any chain that you like. Maybe I will make about 80 chain, something like that. Just chain away here. Yeah. Just do one, one, one step because um, we're gonna do the last up in the back here. So you make the chain as long as you like. Maybe I will do about 200 chain because we will do the last up in the back or so. Just this one and then do the last up. And 
and making that chain away to do the step and I will uh, meet you when I done uh, two step and that's all we finished with the uh, adding the step and I will show you when I finish add the two step together so here we are the step here and that's all we done I hope you can write like the tutorial and thank you so much for watching if you make one please tag me on Instagram I would love to see your creation bye